Hi, Jeannie here, and today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on a subfolder with Bluehost. So here I'm at the Bluehost login page, and I'm going to log in with my username and my password. Now, depending on the type of account you have with Bluehost, you may be able to install WordPress on more than one website. And so that's what we're going to do today. And because I don't want WordPress to be installed over the top of my existing domain, I'm going to install to a subfolder. So it's going to be techdoneforyou.com forward slash coaching and that will be my subfolder. So I'm just going to click on my sites and here are the current WordPress sites that I have. So if you don't want to purchase an additional domain for this, you can install to a subfolder. So this is going to be a subfolder under Tech Done For You. And I'm going to go to add site. And you can give this a site name And then we're going to go down to advanced. Now it's auto populating some information, but I'm going to update this. So I'm going to put in my email address, my WordPress admin username, and I'm going to give this a password. So I'm just going to go to next. And now it's going to ask me, I'm going to close this out because I don't want to save the password right now. I have that in another area. So I'm just going to say not now to last pass. And here's my domain. I could choose one of my other domains, but I'm fine with this main domain. And so I'm going to choose this domain and this is the subfolder. So I want this to be techdoneforyou.com forward slash coaching. And this is going to be a separate installation of WordPress. And let's go to next. And you can decide whether you want, I don't want opt-in monster, I don't want monster insights, WP forms, maybe, but I'll install that later if I want it. So let's go to next. So right now, this is setting up a separate WordPress installation on techdoneforyou.com forward slash coaching. And this has its own admin username and password. So here it is. And you can note this in your records when you're logging in. And also the, the website URL. And so I'm just saving that to Notepad and I'm going to put it in a secure place. So from here, you can go log in to WordPress. And so this is loading WordPress. So it's just taking a minute to do this. And this site is a coming soon site right now. So you can go ahead and go through these steps and set it up. So you can set up a home page, a page or a post, or you can just go right to launch. So let's go to launch your site. Now, with a brand new installation of WordPress, you may have to do some cleaning up. So you may want to go through, let's just visit this site. And it's got some sample information here. So it's got Hello World, which is the first post. And maybe 
I want to change that. So you could either edit it right here or you could go back to the dashboard and you can go ahead and delete that sample post and add maybe something temporary. So let's go to posts, all posts. And I don't really need this sample post, so I'm just going to put it in the trash. And I'm going to add a new post. And this may be temporary, so you could always install a coming soon plugin if you wanted to. But let's just add this one post. It's taking a little bit of time to load. Okay, so I went back because it was taking too too long to load, so we can always just edit this. Oh, so it's in the trash. Let's go back. Go to add new. Now it's loading. Okay, so this is the block editor, and I'm going to skip this because I know what the block editor is, but if you aren't familiar with it, you can go ahead and and go through all of these and learn more about the block editor. So let's go to get started and let's give this post a title. So this is a blog post and I may change it later, but this is just a temporary demo. So I'm just going to say, welcome to coach done for you. And I'm just going to start typing in this block. Demo videos on technology. Enjoy. And maybe I will put more in here later. You can always make it more elaborate. So for now, I'm just going to publish it. So I, I could probably add later maybe some, some more categories. So uncategorized is what's default. And so I'm just going to add a new one. Let's go tech demo videos. And let's add the new category. And you could add a feature image if you have an image. So I'm just going to add that later. You could add tags. So for now, I'm just going to go to publish because this is a temporary post. And let's go and view the post. So here it is, and it's categorized and people can comment. So this is a very, very simple site. We can do a little bit more with it later, but that's how you can install WordPress to a subfolder. And that's all there is to it. Have a great day.